Hey everyone, Libby here. First, I want to apologize for the world's worst Christmas house tour ever <laughs> that I've done anyway. The reason being we have not really decorated for Christmas because we're going to be in Fiji and I have arthritis in my feet and haven't been had the ability to do a lot of decorating. The kids have done a bit, but it's just sort of been, we're not gonna be here, so <laughs> I'm not gonna worry, but I will show you what I have done. So starting at the front door, we've got the Christmas wreath. Chris Lee kindly got at the Christmas village and put that together for us. Though nothing is plugged into power, so it doesn't light up. The plugs are upstairs and that just went into a two hard basket, but it's nice that she's she's got it, it up, because that's what, you know, when you walk in the front door, that's the first thing you see. Look, my banister looks lonely and empty. I will put a link to my previous Christmas videos and you can see what the house normally looks like in this area. Much better than what it is this year. But I have done the mantle. Uh, well, this is like my mantle, I guess. <laughs> I'll hop out of the picture. Minus the sunburn cream because someone got sunburned at the water park yesterday, being Amy. So I've got a few new things this year, mainly my lovely dog, big, especially a lolly jar. I wasn't going to fill that with lollies, so it's got some little ornaments in that, so that's new. And this one was actually full of Easter eggs and it's now got candy canes in it. And these beautiful candlesticks I got from Mum for Christmas last year, so they weren't actually on display. We have the usual advent calendar over there. And then again, it doesn't really look very Christmassy, this room. Not like it normally does. I will take you straight to the tree, which you will see isn't really decorated. <laughs> we just put it up. Actually, Christy put it up. And I put the, I think Kevin did the lights. I had to fix them. And I put the garland on it. And there's been a few new decorations this year. Christy made this shell string thing. I think it's going to her bedroom later. That was made at school. I bought this one, the Harry Potter one for Chris, for Amy, for a special ornament, and Christy got the Scooby-Doo. And this was sent from one of my um, blog readers, or well, she bought that for me over in Russia when she was over there, because she did the same cruise that we did. So that's our very plain, rather boring Christmas tree, but it sparkles, so that's better than nothing. I did have grand plans to do over here, but as you can see, it hasn't really eventuated. We had the, um, this was hanging up. Hanging up here, oh, you can see where the blue tack is. Well, the yellow tack in this case, and it just fell down. So it hasn't gone back up. This beautiful Christmas card. This is from the exchange student Kasumi that came from Japan that we had earlier in the year. Isn't it just beautiful? In fact, your card right on the bottom. If she's written in English. <laughs> well, there you go, the photo. I can't really see. It's her and her sister. I think this is gorgeous. The girls love that. Oh, it's going to focus. There we go. So, got a token candle. I couldn't even find my Christmas table runner. I think it got ruined last year. But I did buy a poinsettia. <laughs> I like them at Christmas. I said, I haven't even tied the house yet, so I've just got Christmas baubles in the candle thing there. Santa's needs some restocking of chocolate. We've eaten them all. And there's the Christmas M&Ms in there, which I only just put there. <laughs> and they probably won't last. Probably won't last very long at all. So in here, messy desk. So here I have, that was the range of the boy in Canberra last year. This is a new little ornament. And this Christmas tree that I bought. Did I buy them? Yeah, I bought them in Canberra this year. My new candlestick, or not candlestick, candle holder, which I had to buy, of course, when they're in my blog. And I've got, as you can see my reflection, the puppies with their Santa photo. Okay, over here, that's probably where I've done them. <laughs> Most of the green, you don't really see it. All the Christmas stuff out. Um, excuse me. You aren't a Christmas thing. That was from the girls from Kasumi as well. So I've got all the teapots there. One cut's missing because it's in use. And my little gingerbread stuff with one of the girls. <laughs> Goldie Christmas cups. Of course we had to buy them. 
So not much else happening in the kitchen. I did have a decoration there, but I've got those flowers from the school for the uniform shop work we've done. Just got a little Christmas tree there and my nutcracker up there. And I think it's a little bit of decorating over here. Haven't done it upstairs at all. Oh, there is a little bit in the bathroom. So I'll take you through to the bathroom. Nothing in the scrapbook room. So I do, uh, I miss having things up, especially in the, um, the front entry where we're just passing through. What have I done in here? Oh, there we go. We've got some baubles, you know, glass, and a Christmas tree thing that I bought last year. So it's really not that exciting. I said I will put a link to my previous year's videos because this isn't a normal year. What we've done is just certainly not normal. Hopefully next year I'll have more energy and the ability to do more decorating. Because I've I missed it, but at least we've got some stuff up. And at least it won't be too big a job to pack away when we get back from Fiji. So if I don't get the chance to send another message, which I probably won't now since we'll be in Fiji in a week's time. Hope you all have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. And I will talk to you all again later. Bye.